I think somewhere down the road, people, amen, have read stories in the Bible over and over, but they didn't realize these were real experiences that people experienced in their life. It wasn't just written for, oh, that's a nice thing, amen. That was great, wonderful, exciting story, wonderful, amen. Things happen for people. I'm going to share a few more. Another one of my favorites is Daniel. And he was challenged in his faith. It's awful quiet, amen. If he didn't do what the king told him to do, amen, they were going to put him in the lion's den, amen. So they passed the law. Nobody can pray, call on another god, or do any of these things, or they're going to be put in to the lion's den. <clears throat> and so I don't know why he did it. As far as I can tell in the Bible, I read it over and over. I can't find any other time that Daniel did this, but when they told him he couldn't do it, he went over to his window, and he lifted his window. I'm preaching to somebody. He didn't care who heard him, amen. He's calling on Jehovah. He's calling on God. Hey, oh, Y'all, you don't understand. If he ever needed him, he needs him now. He don't need, I mean, he don't need him some other time. He needs him now. He needs the power of God to be with him, amen, because he's fixing to get thrown in the lion's den. So he prays louder with the window open than he ever did before. <laughs> preaching to me. I know a lot of people that don't want to get in trouble. And if they forbid people to pray, uh, I don't know how many so-called Christians today would quit praying. Hello? I know a lot of people, they've already compromised. There's people that come out, we can show you on, on the Internet, where they said, whatever the government tells us to do, that's what we're going to do. There's no pressure on them. Nobody's even given them any difficulty. And they already compromised. What are they going to do when the pressure comes? Hello. And so I realized that Daniel had made a purpose in his heart that he was going to serve God no matter what it cost him. No matter what it cost him, he didn't, he didn't care if he was going to be a meal for the lions, amen, that's so be it, amen. He was going to serve God. He was going to love God. He was going to praise God. He was going to do the things that God wanted him to do above everybody and everything else, amen. I know people that don't go preach because somebody told them not to. Their grandmother told them not to. Their Whoever, the wife or mother or sister or brother, somebody said, no, you don't need to do that, amen. And I know Daniel said, yeah, I do. God told me to do this, and I must do what God tells me to do, whatever it costs me. Amen. And so they put him in the lion's den. They put him in there and put a rock on there so he ain't getting out. Can I get a witness? Amen. I'm preaching to me tonight or today. And Daniel spent the entire night in the lion's den. And the king loved Daniel, and he was so anxious he didn't sleep at all, not one wink that night. And at daybreak, he ran down to the cave and said, is your God able to save you, Daniel? And he said to the king, oh, don't worry. Y'all not, not listening to me. The Lord has sent his angel that shut the lion's mouths. And I'm doing good. Hello? Everything is fine? They're asleep over there, and I'm over here, and everything is fine. I'm preaching to me. Now, again, I don't even need to ask it. Do you think Daniel ever forgot that story, amen, that experience? Staring eye to eye at a lion all night. Can I get a witness? 
<laughs> I tell this story. This is a true story. Years and years ago, down on Francis, they had a petting zoo. And this, at this zoo, they kept a lion and the Peace and Freedom Party years ago had a female lion for their mascot. And they had chained the lion to the porch and had gone with a friend of mine and I have no idea what he was thinking, but he started walking up to the lion. And I thought, what are you doing? It's a real lion. It's not... You know, it's on the porch. And as he gets closer, this female lion stands up on her hind legs and puts her claws out, amen, and roars at this guy, amen. And this man backpedaled as fast as he can, fell on the ground and got up running. Can I get a witness, amen, and ran and got out of there. I thought, are you crazy? That's a real lion. I'm preaching to me. <clears throat> that makes this story a lot more vivid. Amen. When he went to a, if you ever ever do it, amen, and see a lion face to face, I think you're going to have a different, different opinion. But Daniel found that God would be with him. And I want to say this, and I want this to sink down in your spirit. In Psalms 91, it said he'll give his angels charge over you to keep you in all of your ways, lest at any time you dash your foot against a stone. He will give his angels charge over you. Guess who's hanging around you when you're in trouble? Come on, guess who's going to get you out of your trouble? Guess who's with you right now? Can I get a witness, amen? Well, no, maybe about it. There's an angel hanging out right now. Going to get you out of your trouble for real. 